if this is your first time here. Uh, my name is Leah and I do vlogs about my life here in Switzerland and I'm going to be talking to you guys about today about some updates about my life. It has been a while. I know I have not done a video in probably over a month but today I'm doing an update video and talking to you guys about what's new in my life, what's coming up, and to introduce some new things to you guys. So thank you guys so much for your loyalty and I did see your messages about, you know, concerned about where I am, what's going on. Um, so thank you so much for the support as always. You guys are like the best subscribers ever. What's going on in my life? So pretty much when I got back from Dubai, like big bombs dropped on my life and um, I needed to take a hiatus to kind of figure out what I'm doing next, what's going on. So I did kind of stay off of social media for um, a couple weeks. I'm sure you guys saw that. I was like, I'm deleting Instagram and all that stuff. So I just needed a break to really focus on my life so I could figure out the direction, the path I'm gonna take next. And I needed to focus because social media is definitely a distraction. So, what is going on? It's not that I've been secretive, but I just don't like to share information until I'm 100% sure. So a couple months ago, it's actually shocking, I went back on my vlogs and I watched that video about saying that I um, was ready to leave Switzerland. And first of all, it shocked me that I did that video in March because that means that I was only in Switzerland October, November, December. Six months, six months into being into Switzerland, I already knew that it wasn't for me and that kind of shocked me and I was like listening to the video and yeah pretty much everything I said there is still valid so I am officially leaving Switzerland I am really really happy about that like I almost honestly am um, I am officially leaving um, I have 10 weeks left in Switzerland and I'm just so excited to be honest um, Switzerland's not for me um, and it's not for me at this time I haven't been happy here I've been low-key depressed um, because it's just not for me I don't feel the vibe is off everything is off here for me I don't feel good here I don't feel happy every moment I was like trying to leave I would go on holiday or go somewhere on the weekend because I couldn't stand to be in Basel like I literally could not stand it like right now it's Saturday I'm antsy and I'm trying to go because I'm just not happy here and every time I left Basel I was so so happy and then when I came back I was unhappy again so it's time for me to go so 10 more weeks I'm out of here I'm so excited um, so yeah, some updates. I left my job. My apartment is available. I already put in my notice for my apartment. Um, so everything is good to go. Like, I'm done. Um, my last day in Switzerland will be September 1st. So if you guys want to do anything, hang out with me. I was thinking about doing like a going away party. It's kind of lame, but <laughs> I was thinking about it, so we'll see so that is an update about what's going on um where i'm going next i will update you guys about that video in another video in the future so right now i am working on starting um somewhat of like a business travel is definitely my passion in at the moment it's my passion and i wanted to maximize that like I literally love to travel and people always ask me about traveling, they wanna travel with me. So then I was just thinking like, okay, let's do this. So uh, right now I'm working on um, a travel business and it's just gonna be mainly focused around group travel. I will basically be hosting group trips and I'm going to do my first group trip in November. Basically what that means is I'll be charging like a base fee and that will have everything included like accommodation, all activities, all tours, um, some meals will be covered, transportation will be covered. It'll be all like in um, one price and I will book everything. I will be your tour guide, I will do everything, and the only thing that you will be responsible for outside of that price is your flight, which I will help you book, and then also you just need spending money. So 
I'm really excited about that um, because I love traveling and um, I love to inspire people to travel and I think traveling is so important especially at my in within my age group I mean it's important for everybody but um, if you haven't seen the world the rest of the world like how are you living you need to go to other parts of the world the world is not just the bubble that you live in there's so much more out there so this is gonna help to allow others to travel because number one it's gonna be budget friendly since it's gonna be a group trip there's gonna be discounts and I plan to have everyone stay in like um, an Airbnb like a huge Airbnb house or something so that will cut down on costs rather than everybody getting a separate hotel room so it's gonna allow for people who don't normally have money to afford to travel it's gonna allow that as an opportunity so I'm really really excited about this um, so please number one if you are interested or if you just want to support me please follow my Facebook page so I made a page for this and it is called Travel Leah find me on the link right here um, facebook.com slash Travelia. I will be posting everything about the upcoming group trips and just travel advice, hacks, everything about travel on there. Um, I'm also working on a website and creating the itinerary for the upcoming group trip in November and whenever that's done, give me like a week or two, I will post the website and then if you want to go on the group trip, there are 10 slots available. Um, you will be able to sign up and there is going to be a deposit to um, save your spot. But I will be doing a completely another video about that group trip with all the details. So just hang tight, but just know that that is coming up. What else is new in my life? Um, right now I'm off of work. I've been off of work for the past week because I had hand, foot, and mouth disease. <laughs> So that is actually a children's disease. It's prevalent in children age five and under. Um, basically, it's a viral infection. Yeah, viral infection. And um, you get blisters all over your hands, your feet, and your mouth, which is where the name comes from. And um, you also have like a fever accompanied with that. Those are usually the symptoms. So one of my kids had that in class, and of course, guess who else got it? Me. Um, so it's very, very, very contagious to children. So of course I couldn't be at work because I would just, the disease would just bounce around the entire class. So if you get that, you have to stay home until the blisters are gone. Um, it is, it's been a week since I've been home from work. And... I have a few blisters. Oh my gosh, my, my hands are so ashy, I can't show you. I have a few blisters left. Some of them popped already. I can't show you. My hands are so ashy. Um, but yeah, I had so many blisters before. This is nothing. So I'm pretty sure I can go back to work on Monday because I just have maybe four or five blisters. Luckily, I didn't get any of the other symptoms. They didn't hit me as harshly. Like, I had, like, a fever, like, day one, but then nothing. Um, I heard people have really, really bad fevers. Um, also, in the mouth, I've heard people have had blisters so badly in their mouth that they can't eat. Um, I have a few. Like, my throat is sore. That's one of the symptoms. But it's not that bad that I can't eat. I just have some like throat spray and then I'm fine. I got really, really lucky that it didn't affect me as badly and maybe that's because I'm an adult and it's for children. So I got lucky. Oh, I'm not in a relationship. I had people like asking me if I was, like if that's why I hadn't been on here as much. No, I'm not. I'm not in a relationship. I just needed to focus on myself and figure out what I'm doing next because it, it, it takes a lot of energy. Just the type of person I am, I have to kind of regroup and I like tend to isolate myself whenever life is overwhelming. So I just isolate myself. Like I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't text anyone. I don't respond to anybody. It's no hard feelings. I just need that time of complete isolation so I can figure out what's going on with my life. I actually started to write a book. That's something that I always used to love to do when I was younger, was write. 
and then of course school came along and when you're writing for school there's no time to write for yourself so I started to write a book um, one of my friends really really um, motivated me to write a book about my travels because like I would always like on Facebook I would write like stories about like what's happening where I'm at in the world and and she was like wow you should just make this into a book and I'm like hey that's not a bad idea so I started to write a book so pretty much each chapter is kind of around about one of the countries I visited and kind of how it has helped me to grow and what I've learned from each place and my experiences if I have funny stories or something so I'm working on that slowly that's gonna take a while because I have a lot of traveling to do but that's just something in the background that I've been doing like in my free time is just writing and I'm really enjoying it I just really wanted to do stuff for myself like being in Switzerland my job has been pretty stressful and pretty consuming like kind of wish that I wasn't a hundred percent while I was here because if I wasn't working a hundred percent I think I would have had more fun because I could have gone more places gone seen more of Basel I barely saw anything when I was here and but hey, it happened, it was a great experience, and now I'm leaving, and yeah. Please, please, please like, share, and follow my Facebook page. Once again, this is the link. Also, I have signed up for Patreon. If you want to become one of my patrons, that would be really awesome and help me to come out with more content and better content, and I would really appreciate that, and the link is below as well if you want to become one of my patrons. But that's it guys, like thank you so much for following my journey still, like it's super awesome. Shout out to all of the postcards I've been getting, I have been behind on sending them back, I'm super sorry, but I am going to send you guys stuff back. If you didn't put your return um, address on there, which a lot of you guys haven't, please send me a message somewhere so that I could send you something back because a lot of them don't have anything. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!